Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jeff Lancaster. I'm a pediatric hospitalist at WVU Medicine Children's Hospital, and I am going to read The Biggest Snowman Ever by Stephen Kroll and illustrated so pictures by Jenny Bassett. I like this book because it's about teamwork and cooperation, things that you do for the rest of your life. Here's the first page, The Biggest Snowman Ever, and we will get started. Once there were two mice who fell in love with the same snowman, and this is how it happened. So there are the two mice, there's the snowman, and they're giving each other high fives, or however many fingers mice have. On a bright winter day, the mayor of Mouseville announced the town snowman contest. Whoever makes the biggest snowman will win a prize, he declared. All the mice were excited. The judging of the contest will take place in two weeks said the mayor. Good luck to all of you. There's the mayor. He's got gloves on. He's got this little sash that says mayor. He's got all these uh, mice who are ready to build a snowman. I'm going to make a really big snow princess, said Penelope. I'm going to make a really big Martian, said James. I'm going to make the biggest snowman ever said Clayton, the house mouse. His friend Desmond, the field mouse, frowned. No, you're not. I'm going to make the biggest snowman ever. Oh yeah, said Clayton. Oh yeah, said Desmond. So here are Penelope and James. Penelope and James. So he's gonna make a snow Martian, snow princess, and they are in competition. They're buddies, but they're gonna to try to make a bigger snowman than the other. So, but they're smiling at each other. They seem to be friends. That night it snowed and snowed. Huge drifts covered driveways, roads, and fields. So here's a picture of that snow. Kind of a Van gogh -y kind of picture, I think. It was the perfect beginning for a snowman contest. In town, Penelope began her snow princess, and James began his snow margin. Out in the country, Clayton and Desmond began their snowmen. So I believe this is Penelope and James out here starting their stuff They're rolling like you do when you make a snowman it's not like when Elsa just snaps her fingers Clayton made a snowball and rolled it along the ground the more he rolled the bigger it got before long he had a large base for his snowman so Clayton here with his big snowball and I think this is a caterpillar a snow caterpillar maybe I don't know it's his little buddy and then um, Here's his buddy mouse, and rolling his down the hill, watch out bird. That is Desmond, so not far away, Desmond was doing the same thing. The next day, Clayton made a huge snowball for his snowman's belly. Not far away, Desmond did the same. So they're both doing the same thing. They're making big snowballs and big snowballs for the snowman's belly. That night, Clayton brought his dad out to see his snowman. Dad scratched his head. I don't know, son. It's going to be big, but I'm not sure it will be the biggest. Clayton smiled up at him. I'm just getting started, he said. Dad whispered in his ear. If you want to work faster, use a wheelbarrow to carry the snow. So that's Clayton's dad telling him to get a wheelbarrow. Make sure to work. A little later, Desmond brought out his Uncle Vernon. I don't know, said Vernon. It's going to be big, but will it be the biggest? Desmond smiled. I'm just getting started, he said. Vernon whispered in his ear. If you want to work faster, use a wheelbarrow to carry the snow. They both got the same advice. Like Clayton's dad said, use a wheelbarrow. Desmond's uncle Vernon said, you use a wheelbarrow. The next day, Clayton filled his wheelbarrow with snow. He piled the snow onto the snowman. Then he rolled another snowball for the snowman's head. Not far away, Desmond did the same thing. So they're taking all the same steps. They're doing the same thing. Same process. A few days later, Desmond ran into town to look at James's snowman, Marchin, and Penelope's snow princess. Hmm, he said, all of our snow people are the same size. That afternoon, Clayton went to town and made the same discovery. So these snow princess, snow Martian, same size, and then Desmond went 
and saw Snow Martian, Snow Princess. So all the same size. And they were trying to make like the biggest snowman. They're all the same size. They're just a little different. The next day while working on his snowman, Clayton had an idea. He brushed the snow off his gloves and walked toward Desmond. At the same moment, Desmond had an idea. He brushed the snow off of his gloves and he walked towards Clayton. Boop. They bumped each other and fell down. They bumped right into each other. So they both had, they're doing the same thing and they both had the same idea. Let's go talk to my buddy and see how we can do this better. That happens all the time. I have an idea, said Clayton. I have an idea, said Desmond. We should do this together, said Clayton. No one said we couldn't, said Desmond. So there they are, hatching their, their plan to, be, to build the biggest snowman ever. As the snow caterpillar and the bird watch. First, they rolled each part of Desmond's snowman over to the middle of the field. Then they rolled each part of Clayton's snowman over. They piled the snowballs on top of one another. Then Clayton dropped a floppy hat on the snowman's head. Desmond added a long scarf, huge coal eyes, and a giant carrot nose. So they're using their wheelbarrow here, uh, and then they are putting snowballs on top of each other. And then you see they added the big carrot and lumps of coal, and now they have a great big giant snowman. As the snow caterpillar watches along. When they were done, they had built the biggest snowman ever. You've got to agree, that's pretty big. That's impressive. The, the morning of the contest, field mice on snowmobiles brought the judges to the country. All right, so we see here all the snowmobiles and the big snowman here. What do we see? Nobody's wearing helmets. All right, so we got to remember, riding snowmobiles, bicycles, scooters, four-wheelers, wear a helmet. Don't be like these mice. Now we're back to the mayor. You both win the prize, said the mayor, handing Clayton and Desmond a large wedge of Swiss cheese. Let the celebration begin. Everyone gathered to dance around the snowman, drink hot chocolate, and eat donuts. Here's the party. They have Swiss cheese and stuff. That's the cheese that has all the holes there. They're having hot chocolate, eating donuts, just having a really good time. Different mice from all over the place admiring the biggest snowman ever. We did it, said Clayton and Desmond, jumping up and down. We did it together. So they're giving each other a high five. So what did they learn? They both could make the same snowman about the same size, like each doing his own. But when they worked together and had teamwork and cooperated, they succeeded in making the biggest snowman ever. So that is it. That's The Biggest Snowman by Stephen Crowell.